know a lot of people are asking about the new 4.0 and I took this one out for a test spin, it's the demo. Um, I took it up that hill there because a lot of people want to know what it's like off road. That hill is quite steep, kind of like that. Um, it's quite a nice bike actually on the enduro bike, you can just hit a flatten up around there. Um, so I was out messing with it on the Alp. Um, yeah, it's 21 inch wheels, discs, um, you know, um, 350 engine. As you can see there, have a look around. Everything's there. Um, exhaust pipe, a lot of people question the low hanging exhaust. To be honest with you, it doesn't bother me too much because I don't plan on ramming the bike over logs. Um, a lot of people questioning the, the rear fender, right? And something interesting I'm gonna show there, or the, in a bit, like, it's not a fender, I suppose, reg plate holder indicator. Uh, cush drive, you see there, have a look. Um, do, 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 do. Fork's actually quite stiff uh, on this blue hardcore. It's actually quite stiff uh, when you're sitting down on it. Uh, I'd say it's gonna loosen up in a while. Standing up, it's perfect. Uh, it doesn't bother you, uh, just sitting down. Showing the rest of the details of the bike. Um, underneath the tank, this is what I wanted to show. Take the seat off, um, I had it unclipped. You've got your tilt sensor, um, relays, everything here is actually quite easy to work with. Uh, diagnostics here as well, uh, fuse fuse box here, battery, so actually quite simple out when you're out on the trail. Um, but what I wanted to show is this connector here. So that is the same connector and same colour coding as what goes back for the rear uh, reg and lights. Um, so I'm having, I'm guessing that there's going to be an aftermarket for anyone who's interested in putting something on here. And you can actually see there's little um, clips here. Who knows, maybe this will all come apart to allow you to put on a new reg or whatever. So it'll be up high. Um, I'll do that in the long term on this, but at the minute, this here doesn't bother me. It's quite sturdy anyway. You'll be doing well to break it. Um, as for the actual bike then, yeah, the, here we go, turn it on. You see it's quite nice. Fancy dash comes up. Um, it's got ABS, which I actually don't like at all off-road, personally. It's got, you can see here, this off-road uh, map. You can change it here, change it to road. And you can see it's road. Haven't actually done much on the road on this, so I um, haven't done much at all on it, really. Um, so it's just something I need to play around with. Um, another interesting thing, the um, clutch, right? So to let it start, I um, forget the name of it, hitting the brain fart here. Um, if you actually pull this back, you'll see that it's really simple to disconnect it. So um, I'll just show it for you. See that? That's basically it disconnected. So you don't need to hold in the clutch to start it. So it actually makes it so easy to short these two cables. So then you'll never have to do that. It's something that I'm going to do because I don't like the idea of having to press in the clutch each time. So um, if you're ever out stuck on the Alp when you first get it, uh, it'll be a reason why it won't start is because you could have easily twisted this and made it disconnect. Uh, other than that, it's quite good. Um, I'm, I may as well try to get a video of it going up the fire road when I'm sitting on it. I'll have to use my phone. But uh might give you a good idea, but it's plenty quick. Um it's actually a nippy little bike, it is quite fun. So I'll try to get a video of it going up the fire road. So as you can see this is just cruising down the uh, fire road. I've got my hand off the clutch, so I kinda have to short shift to without revs. Um, just get bored here. As you can see. Down. Okay, here we go. Bit of a challenge, but sure. Could give it a go. Second gear, turn. No clutch, nothing. Here we go, manage to do it. Gonna up the gear. There you can feel the door. Obviously, 
you have to stand it up. But um, very hard to stand up on this one. Give it a go. Yeah, there you go. It actually proves quite nice to be standing up on this bike as well. That's it, um, driving up with my hand on it, as you can see it's quite difficult in one aspect. Um, people will ask about breaking the, the side panel, uh, I don't think it's a big deal. Um, Beater are generally very cheap with plastics, so um, cheap to repair to be honest with you. Um, what other things do I notice riding up um, and around just quickly? Um, tires are probably too hard, I haven't even checked the tire pressure definitely too hard uh, there are v-rubbers that come on it and um, they're actually quite good to feel in compound and um, you can adjust the dash by pressing buttons at the back of it here and um, if you press it here you can change various stuff here and um, and i can adjust the clock and whatnot and um, haven't messed around with it um, the gear yeah haven't have it in neutral um to say traction control i'm going to play around with this in the next while and see if i can get the actual abs off as well um but yeah no other than that it's um it's a nippy fun little bike i have to say um i'll come up the same fire road again and i'll push it on just to let you know this kind of speeds that you can do comfortably on it so that was just a little test there where we went up the road quite quick um well quick enough for a a very hardcore -y fire road. Um, 85, very comfortable on this condition. Very bumpy now, I have to say, even on the Enduro bike, you'd feel that. Um, but 85, very comfortable, pushed it onto 100. A little bit more skiddy on top of these stones. But um, what do you expect in that hardcore? So um, the other thing is the fuel, just to point out the fuel. Um, you can see here the ventilation goes down onto the cap and in here so you might just want to watch that because the last time i did hear a hiss out of it so just um watch out you could remove that if you want um but it's up to you but no cool um i'm happy enough with that and uh, push it down good to go there you go i'll get more spins on it i'll get a proper gopro on it and i'll start doing some trails and um, keep you updated.